Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. So today we will learn how to automate email notification for your administrator using shell script. We will see the process of checking status of URLs and sending email notification if any of them are down. It is necessary to noti get notified about the down website so that necessary actions can be taken to restore its functionality. And one of the effective way is using the shell script to automate the process. So first we will see the prerequisite. side. So you should have an AWS account with Ubuntu 24.04 for EC2 instance of and running. Then you should have a basic knowledge of shell scripting. So let's move in the practical. Our first step is generate the app password. To generate the app password, go to your Google account. Search for Google account. Go to the Google account and in the search bar, search for add passwords. Here, give an appropriate name to your app. Type URL notification, then click on create. To generate that password. Now our app password is generated, so let's copy and save it somewhere like in Notepad. For the we'll be using it later. Now our next step is create a file in Ubuntu. So to create a new file, use the man command. Our file name is url underscore notify.sh. So let's create a file. Hit enter. Here inside this file, we are going to write the script for email notification. So this is the basic script to get email notification for URL status. So let's copy and paste it. So first, this is your basic Shigan script. Then the next section is to prompt the user for input. Here the script prompts the user to enter their email address for the sender first, then you will enter the email address for receiver. Then it will also ask for Google app password. After this, there is a section for list of URLs to check. Here, the script defines an array of URLs containing the URLs to be checked for their status. And this URLs represent the website for the visibility we want to monitor. Then the next section function to check URL and send email. Here the check URLs and send email function. This will iterate to each URL in the URLs array. Then for each URL, we do this the code to send the head request. And extracts the response header header. Okay. The head hyphen in one for header. Then if the response does not contain the 200, then the URL is considered down and it is added to the down URL string. Okay. 
and any URL are found to be down. They can run the question to be constructed. Like the form uh, here with body, the email content. Then the email is sent using the third. Three person cookies protocol. And the SSL required. Then mail from sender. This is mail received from receiver. Then user. The sender's mail and Google and password are provided for authentication using the hyphen hyphen user option. Then the script checks for the exit status and if it is equal to zero then it will return the message email sent successfully and if not it will return the message fail to send the email and lastly the script calls for the check urls and send email function and this is to initiate the process of checking url status and sending email notifications. So let's save this file. Press Ctrl plus X, then Y, hit enter. Sorry. Now, after writing the script, our next step is to make file executable. So let's copy this command. And paste it. Now, after making the file executable, let's run the script. Let's copy this command and paste it. Command is dot slash URL underscore notify dot is it. Let's still run our script. Now, we need to Enter the your email address. Okay. Then we need to enter the receiver's email address. I'm going to send email to myself, but you can enter different email ID. You need to enter the Google app password. So let's get it from the notepad where we saved it previously. Let's copy. Sorry. And paste it. Hit enter. So as you can see, our email is sent successfully, which means there is a website which is down. So now to verify this, go to your email box. Here, as you can see, we are receiving the mail of the upside down. Click on it, and you can see the content, which is the following website are down, and it also tells which website is down. So today we have learned for we have learned to automate the email notification for URL status and by implementing the simple feature script we can enhance your monitoring capability and minimize the downtime. This will improve the reliability and user experience of your online service. So that's all for today, guys. Thank you.